Hey everybody, this video has been a long time coming. In fact, I've recorded it three times. I've recorded it three times and I was having issues with my memory card and then things got really busy. And so here it finally is. This is the question, a question that I get asked very often. Do travel agents travel for free? And I'm going to answer that question and go into a little bit more detail today. But let me introduce myself really quick. My name is Amy. I am a travel agency owner. I have a travel blog, which I monetize. So I make money from my blog. I'm also about to start doing some travel agent coaching by popular request. So I'm an all around entrepreneur. I've been working for myself for a really long time, full time for about 10 years now. And so if you like entrepreneur tips and things like that, make sure to subscribe. I also talk about all things travel here. So if that sounds interesting to you, you should subscribe for that as well. But let's get straight into this video now. So do travel agents travel for free? This is one of the questions that I get asked um, more than almost any other question, or do you travel for free? Or what do you get to do for free as a travel agent? And the short answer, the really short answer is no. Travel agents don't travel for free because being a travel agent doesn't just entitle you to go anywhere for free anytime. Nobody, Nobody's doing that. So if um, you hear about something like that, you know, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. So do travel agents generally travel for free? No, although there are travel agent rates and travel agent discounts, and sometimes they can be really, really good. So as a travel agent, you can take advantage of those. You typically need an IOTA card or a CLIA card, which you can typically earn through your host agency, but you do have to sell some travel first. So it's not like you just decide to be a travel agent and then you're automatically getting these great rates. Now there are some there are some places that do not require you to have those cards, but most do. So just about anything um, that does a, a discount or something uh, like a free ticket, you know, for Disney or something like that, it's probably going to require that you do have that IATA or CLIA card. So that's just something to keep to keep in mind. Now, another question that I'm asked really frequently about are fam trips. So fam trips, for those of you who do not know, are familiarization trips. It's basically when a group of travel agents or a travel agent would be invited to a resort or by a board of tourism or something like that to go and explore um, and learn about the destination. Now, there can be FAMs for like one particular resort, but typically they would be for a group of resorts like AMR Resorts or Sandals or something like that. So how do you get invitations to FAMs? Well, you probably have to sell some travel first. So to me, it doesn't seem like FAMs are as frequent as they used to be prior to 2020. And my honest opinion on that is just because I don't think that... Um, I think everybody just wants to travel. So these places uh, aren't having to push their destination as much as they were. Now that said, there are still fams out there that you can get invited to, but again, there are generally, depending on your host agency, and I have a video which I'll share. I never remember which side, I think it's here. Um, I have a video which I'll share about host agencies. I'm gonna make a follow-up to that because I keep being asked which host agency I'm with and that doesn't do you any favors. <laughs> so, um, so I'm gonna make a follow-up to that, but I will share that. But typically your host agency will have some tiers. So there's like the beginning tier. If you're brand new, you might get invited to some of these fans. They're typically not gonna be um, anything really special, but like, or really expensive. And then the top tier would be maybe something like sandals or something really nice like that. Um, so yes, you can travel for free on FAMs, but don't think you're gonna be going on a FAM every month just because you're a travel agent. I sell well over a million in travel a year and I have been on zero FAMs this year. I was invited to one, no, two. I was invited to two. One, I wasn't able to go um, for personal reasons and then the other, I wasn't able to go um, because it wasn't really a great fit for me. So there were two that I was invited to. I was also invited to a FAM super last minute but I didn't do that one either because um, it just didn't work out timing wise. FAMs are a really good way to become familiar with the destination and a lot of agents do self-guided FAMs where maybe they're staying at travel agent rates or something like that and they're going and exploring different resorts. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Now, I wanna talk about another way that you can travel for free as a travel agent or to be honest as anybody and that's through travel hacking or using credit card points. Now, I realize this isn't for everyone. This is something that I dabble in. I'm no expert, but I do like to accumulate points and use them for flights. In fact, I'm getting ready to fly out of here on Sunday, right after I release this video. Um, 
the week after I released this video. And I am flying business class. I booked that with points. I only had to pay um, the taxes on it. So it's a really good way to get free or discounted travel by using points. I really like um, the Chase Sapphire Preferred card and the American Express Gold card. I will put links to those down below because they're running some really, really great promotions right now. Again, that's not for everyone. Please don't go out and get a credit card if you can't be responsible with it, but that is a really good way to rack up points with everyday purchases, things that you're going to buy anyway, and then use those to um, fly because flights are so expensive right now. So I hope that this video was helpful. I really do think there's a myth out there that if you're a travel agent, you get all of these amazing deals and you're doing all of these things for free. And that's just not the case. Not that there aren't good deals to be had, but if you're just coming into the business, if you're brand new, you're probably not going to qualify for these travel agent rates, for all of these other things. You're probably going to need to get established in the industry first, and that is a little bit tough. So don't come into travel thinking that you're going to travel for free or stay places really cheap. But what you can do when you get into travel is do all of the research and all of the education that you can. If there's a destination that you think you might sell, learn about that destination, do training for resorts that are there, for activities that are there, do all of the suppliers that are out there have training for travel agents, or at least most of them do, and you can do those trainings while you're learning. It'll make it much easier for you to sell having never been there. And I sold, I'll tell you a secret, I've sold a lot of stuff that I've never been, but it's not, I was still knowledgeable. I was still knowledgeable about the destinations because I spent a lot of time doing education. And you can do that too from anywhere. Fortunately, we can do just about anything from our phone or our laptop at this point. So there was my video, do travel agents travel for free? The answer is not really, but once you really get into, once you really get rolling in the industry, it's possible that there are deals to be had. So don't um, don't think that there aren't, just know that you're gonna have to work for it. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I would love it if you subscribed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.